Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have a watch unboxing. Uh, this watch is on loan from Salzman's Watches. It's the Hamilton, uh, looks like it's Boulton or Bolton, or whatever you want to pronounce that, uh, quartz watch featured in the latest uh, Indiana Jones movie. Forgot the name of it. I think it's the fifth one. But anyway, it's a quartz watch, and uh, it's... It'll be five hundred ninety-six dollars uh, if you use the WTW two three discount from Salzman's. Uh, just unboxing here to look, take a quick look at it. Uh, really appreciate them sending over these watches for us to check out. You could check out their website and Instagram account. I would appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, MSRP on this is seven hundred forty-five dollars. If you can, well, yeah. Hopefully you can see that. I don't think it's really focusing, but. Let's uh, get the box out of the way and uh, check out this watch here. Something a little bit different. I haven't seen too many videos about it, so I wanted to check it out. It's, uh, again, a, a kind of a square shaped watch, maybe a little bit of a, a tonneau shape to it. Tono, tonneau, whatever. But yeah, it's mostly uh, rectangular shaped, a little bit of curvature to it. I would have to imagine that's plated, uh, plated gold or just PVD colored to look like gold. So yeah, you can see uh, it has a subdial there and that's where the second hand is just uh, ticking away in there. And it does say Swiss made. So let me know what you think of this style of watch. Uh, Hamilton has had this style of watch before. Um, I think my friend Clayton has something similar to this. Just a push-pull crown, uh, but again, you don't have to wind it. It's a quartz watch. So if I pull this out one click, yep, so we have hacking there. What do we have to guess? This is a leather strap. Oh, 18 millimeter lug width. Okay. Didn't realize that. Yeah, let me get this out of the uh, buckle here, and I'll put it on wrist real quick. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Really helps me out. So let's read what it says on the case back. Water resistant uh, three bar, so that's 30 meter. Hamilton always puts the PSI reading on there. I've never seen another company that has a PSI reading for the water resistance. And it looks like that is a snap on case back. So that would make sense why it's only 30 meter water resistant. So basically just washing your hands or perhaps getting caught out in the rain. Uh, definitely would not swim with this watch. This has some nice curvature there to it, so it should wear nicely on wrist. I'm going to assume that's a sapphire crystal, but I really don't know. I hope it is. I would, I would think so with uh, Hamilton. All right, let me just... Yeah, I don't want to... I'll put it on my wrist. The watch is on loan, so I don't want to uh, manhandle it too much. Kind of a cool strap. Oh, we zoomed the way in. Let me zoom out some bit here. So there's still more, two more hole positions left. I have a six and a half inch wrist. I don't know if you would call this a woman's watch or a men's watch or or whatever. I mean. Hey, I guess you know Harrison Ford wore it in uh, in the movie there. Indiana Jones. All right, well, just a quick look. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for your time, and thank you for watching.